Do you have a Shopify store? Are you wondering how is it that I can make a video and put it on my home page so all my customers and potential customers can see exactly what it is that I have going on? Or are you trying to stand out on your Shopify store and you don't want it to be plain or bland and you want your home page to pop? Well then stay tuned because I am going to be sharing with you how you can embed your personalized video on your homepage in your Shopify store. Oh, sunshine, you are my sunshine. Let it be, let it be. Oh, hey beauties, welcome back. Thank you for tuning in to another one of my broadcasts. If this is your first time here, welcome, and thank you for tuning in. My name is Larice, and I am the founding owner of beyondbody.com. As you already seen previously what this video is about to be about, <laughs> before we hop into the content, why don't you make sure you subscribe to this channel and make sure you give me a thumbs up. Now that I got that out of the way, let's get into the video. All right, beauties. So if you've watched my previous video, um, it was uploaded a couple of weeks ago, I shared with you how you can embed a video onto your Shopify's product page. So um, instead of me linking the um, link to that video somewhere at the top, I'm going to wait until uh, the end of this video to post that video uh, after the outro because this is some valuable information and I don't want you clicking off of this video to watch another one because again, this is much value. And if you are looking to embed your video on your homepage, this is the video you need to watch. But if you also want to embed a video on your product page, I have created that video previously. And again, that will be um, linked or shown to you at the end of this video. So Right now, I am about to share my screen so we can jump into the content. So one second. So this page should look familiar to you. This is the back of your Shopify uh, homepage, so you will. So what you want to do is go all the way down to the bottom and click on settings. And once you're at your settings, you want to click on file. And I have already uploaded my uh, mini demo video for the sake of saving some time. But once you record your video, you want to save it onto your device and you want to click this green upload button. And after you upload your video, it will um, be saved right here under file names. So then what you wanna do is click on this little link right here. And once you click it, it automatically saves. And so then what you wanna do is open up a notepad on your computer. Uh, maybe if it's not notepad, it might be Google Docs or a Word doc, whatever um, notepad you'd like to use. And right here, this is the same coding that I had placed inside the description in my video that I made in regards to how to embed your video on your Shopify product page. So this coding will be down below or it is down below in the description section. So you want to copy this as well, this coding as well, and put this inside of your notebook so you will have this. And um, I, a word of advice, I would save this, you know, um, grab it out of the, the description down below and save it for your own records, you know, for later use. And so again, this will be in the description down below. And so what you want to do with that link that you just grabbed out of your uh, Shopify files is copy it down here, make a few uh, lines of space so you don't uh, get confused from the Shopify link and the code that I am going to place in the description down below. So as you can see right here, 
this is in the coding, you will see it says your URL here. It will say that down below in the description. So what you wanna do is highlight that part right there. We're not going to, well, we're not highlighting it. I'm highlighting it because I want you to see your URL here. So this link right here that you grabbed from Shopify, you want to copy this and this link is going to go right here where it says your URL here. We're going to paste it. And so now it doesn't say your URL here. It has the link to your video that you copied inside of your Shopify files. So now that you have this whole entire piece, you want to highlight that. We're not going to highlight this down here, this HTTPS. We're not going to highlight this because this is already included in the coding. So we're going to highlight that. We're going to copy it. And then we're going to head over to our online store right here in our Shopify back office. We're going to click this. And then click on this green customize. And I already have the tab open, but you want to click on the green customize and then it will take you here. I'm not sure if it'll look a little different depending on what Shopify um, theme you're using, but it's the content within should still be different. It, I mean the same, but it might look a little different. So what you want to do is come over here to add section. You click on that and then you want to click on custom HTML and then go down to the bottom and click this green select box. Then you want to go up to where it says add custom HTML, click on that. And then this will already have some text in there. Um, it's not really relevant to you. So you just highlight it and delete all of it. And this is where you paste in the coding that you copied previously. So as you can see, this is my video that I created, a little mini demo video that I created um, for you guys to add on my homepage. So as you can see, this is what my storefront looks like beyond body. Um, I have a slideshow and my tabs on the side little descriptions of featured products. And then once you go down, I have the disclaimer and the video. Make sure it works. Hey beauties, this is just a tester video going up on our Shopify homepage. So as you can see, it says talk about your brand up here, use HTML format. Of course, you don't want that right there. So let's go back. Here, I'll push save, I'll delete it because I don't want this video on my homepage, but it's okay for right now. This is a teaching moment. So then we go back. And then as you can see right here, heading, that's where it says right here, talk about your brand. So you would of course talk about your brand or you know if you wanna put something else in there outside of talking about your brand, you can do that or you can just delete it and leave it blank. So then let's find out where this use HTML. Let's save this because I deleted something. We want to make sure every time we make a change to save it. So let's see where this is. Use HTML to format your text so it can be easily read. This text can be used. All right, let's see. Nope, it's not that one. Let's see if it's this. Boom, and that's what it was. I had um, an extra one, uh, extra custom HTML up. So that's why it was doubled like that, but typically it wouldn't be. And then let's just say 
you don't want your video at the bottom. Cool, no problem. So what we're going to do is right here where it says custom HTML, this is the video that you just placed on your homepage. You can move it up. Let's say I want it after my slideshow. So here we go, my slideshow, my video, and then my featured products. So you can move it around anywhere you want to, or let's say, for example, you know, after you have your video there, um, it might be a video that you, you want to stay up all the time, but let's just say you're running a promotion and the video has nothing to do with the promotion and you want to just take it off for that moment in time. You can click on this eye right here and it'll have a slash across it. So that means that the video is no longer there. Not that the video has been deleted, but it's just temporarily not visible until you go and click on it again. So that is the way you embed a video on your Shopify homepage. So I, since I don't want this video on my homepage, I'm going to show you how you would delete it. So as you can see right here at the very bottom remove section next to the little trash can, you just click on that and then make sure you save it because if you don't save it, it's still going to be there. So save and then we're done. All right, beauties. So that is how you embed your personalized video on your Shopify homepage. And again, now this is where I will be adding the video to my previous video that shows you how to upload and embed your personalized video onto your product page. So hopefully this video has been very informative. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, as always, beauties, make sure you leave them down in the comment section below, and I will go through and answer them to the best of my ability. So thank you again for tuning in. I love you all. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. And if you know any other um, entrepreneurs that are using Shopify's platform and you feel that this information can be of value to them, please do share this video out. Stay tuned to the next video. Love you all. In there, in there, oh,